So cadet action out on circuit 27 drivers. And it's Charlie Wyatt once again at the head of the field, looking to make it eight wins from eight races in his final weekend in the cadets before moving up on, alongside him on the front row championship leader Catherine Potter, Lizzie Mentia and David Mack on row two with Ethan Gerling and Jared Fox Whiteley on row three. Row four is Thomas Potter and Hudson Barker Dix, Kia McLeod and Isabella Stansmore Wilson on row five with Leon Barlow and Finley Stubbings behind. Addison Smith and Sophie Pawsey share row seven with Reese Penniston and Tom Holden on row eight. Jack Thompson and Josh Cook on row nine. Row 10 sees Sam Robson alongside Alex Fraser with Ethan Charles and Harris Alley behind them. William George Howard is 23rd, Lewis Goff alongside in 24. Holly Allen and Cody Lamb share that row with Alex Lynn rolling into 27th. Charlie Wyatt on the inside there. Catherine Potter did enough to get alongside for the final. And she's been starting really well so far in cadet. Started so fast last time that she pushed Charlie Wyatt through and into the lead, no matter how quick Lizzie Mentia started on the outside. And uh, in fourth place there in the number 16 is David Mack. And he's had a, a, a quiet ascension towards the front of the grid always there or thereabouts but has uh, come out of nowhere really to end up in fourth place on this grid and uh, will obviously feel confident that he can get onto the podium the cadet grid is gridded up quicker than normal final few drivers rolling into position and it's time to go racing for the final time in cadets today the green flag is up the green flag is down and we are away and racing and it's a good start this time for Charlie White, but David Mack gets a flyer from the second row. He's going to have to stick it out round the outside, though, if he wants to make a position. He has, and he's in third place. It's Wyatt, Potter, Mack, and Mentia, the top four, with Girling in fifth. Let's see if all our cadet drivers can get through the chicane. Tom Holden makes a great move down the inside of Sophie Pawsey. The yellow flag's out as we've got a couple of drivers round. One of them's Ethan Charles in the 46. All of them back and in the right direction as Josh Cook in the three makes a move on Holly Allen. Yeah, fantastic start from Mack. He's, uh, he's been there or thereabouts all weekend and he's just slowly been uh, clawing his way one position at a time up, up the grid and now finds himself in third place. Yeah, great start for all our cadet drivers. Everybody now facing in the right direction and the pack sees Charlie Wyatt and Catherine Potter with a couple of cart lengths from David Mack and Lizzie Mentier. Leon Barlow's up there in the top ten in that red cart with the bright yellow helmet in front of Isabella Stansmore Wilson as Catherine Potter challenges Charlie Wyatt for first place keeping him honest round hairpin two and down the back straight it might just be uh, slight setup changes for David Mack you know because he's uh, he's slight uh, slowly gaining and gaining more and more pace throughout the weekend. Yeah, we saw him earlier sliding that car, didn't we, under braking his uh, Ethan Girling and Jared, Jared Fox Whiteley battle it out over fifth place. Thomas Potter tries to make a move down the inside, carries too much speed round the corner and allows Hudson Barker Dix back into seventh place. Leon Barlow behind them in ninth. And the, the mid pack there chopping and changing and We've said before, anywhere between 3rd to 11, you could find yourself anywhere, couldn't you, in that pack? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's been close all day. Um, Leon Barlow as well, you can, as we said, you can spot him with that fluorescent yellow helmet and the fluorescent yellow wheels, looking very lively behind Thomas Potter. Yeah, he has a quick look over his shoulder. J uh, Charlie Wyatt is uh, taking the um, Ben Puccini line down the straight, parked <laughs> that cart in the middle. So, so far this weekend, we've had a Thomas Potter line, which is right round the outside of the corner. Correct. Um, we've had a Ben Puccini line, which is straight down the middle of the straight. Yes, <laughs> and then sideways round South Bank. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Lizzie Mentia looking like she's meaning business here behind David Mack. Uh, looking like she's going to get through fairly quickly. Yeah, all over the back of David Mack trying to move up into third place. is going through the chicane will she make a move as Jared Fox Whiteley is trying a move on Ethan Girling as look like um, Leon Barlow tries to dive through gets past Hudson Barker Dix in the 99 so Leon Barlow moves up into eighth place Barker Dix ninth stands more Wilson 
tenth behind them Holden and McLeod. And the 54 of McLeod struggling. He even normally runs well up in the top five, just Kieran McLeod. Yeah, although okay. didn't run yesterday. And you mentioned earlier the potential benefits as Holden dives to the inside of Stansmore Wilson. Yeah, you, you were saying that if you've got a, a, a two-day meeting, the benefits of running that first day to get the setup right. Yeah, I mean, you'd want to run, the, the obviously, the day before and get your setup right for, for the two days, but uh, it seems that the more, as the more they get more and more track time, uh, the setup is just coming more and more to David Mack, and it's, uh, it's working well for him. So uh, that is the benefit of it, and he finds himself right at the front for the final. Uh, yeah, just a shame it, it couldn't work out for, for yesterday as well. But uh, Yeah, great. Yeah, Lizzie Mentia putting him under a lot of pressure. And uh, we've seen e Ethan Gerling as well feeling he needs to go defensive early on, even with six, seven laps to go uh, to defend that fifth place. So now 1.7 seconds back of Lizzie Mentia. So Charlie Wyatt comes over. We are at half race distance and he leads by... 2.7 seconds from Catherine Potter with David Mack and Lizzie Mentia both setting fastest laps in third and fourth. Girling, Fox, Whiteley, Potter, Barlow, Barker, Dix and Holden at the top ten with Stansmore, Wilson and Kia McLeod right there in the background as well. Stansmore, Wilson tries to make a move down the inside of Holden. Holden can't do it as Mack once again has to go defensive down the back straight and round South Bank. Mentia's trying to go round the outside. That's Ethan Charles off and onto the grass. So problems for him as Lizzie Mentia goes to the inside of David Mack. Doesn't run him too wide and David Mack should have track position to come back through and into third place. But Mentia now knows that she's got the pace to get the position done. Just needs to get that final ingredient right to take the final step on the podium yeah it looked like Mac made a slight mistake coming out of hairpin three the uh, the back end stepped out and uh, managed to catch it but it gave Mentia that opportunity that she needed yeah so she remains right on the back of David Mack and will Mack defend again down that back straight I don't think he does actually we saw in the background he does at the end and goes in Mentia tries to go around the outside well she cuts to the inside again Mack I think is going to go defensive because Mentia is going to have to go wide and that defensive line is slowing Mac down, isn't it? And Mentia's going to try and oh, get a run out of the corner. She's alongside, and she's a little bit further in front this time. Mac's alongside. Which one of them's going to do it? Is Mac going to stay in position and stick it out? David Mac runs a wide down the straight and stays in third place. Good driving from Mac. Excellent driving uh, to hold like the position. Uh, yeah. The other thing that I'm keeping an eye on as well is. Uh, uh, Catherine Potter is keeping Charlie Wyatt very honest at the front. Yeah, Fox Whiteley's come through as well. We saw him in the background there going down the inside of Ethan Girling for fifth place. So Fox Whiteley in fifth, Girling sixth, Potter in seventh. Barlow behind there running in a weekend high of eighth place. Yep, looking good in eighth as well. It's, uh, it's suiting the cart, suiting the position. Uh, Potter in seventh has been pretty much there with Fox Whiteley and Girling throughout the whole weekend. David Mack giving the uh, the signal of, come on, let's work together and try and catch these two in front as Catherine Potter bangs in the fastest lap of the race at the 48.162 and catches right up onto the back of Charlie Wyatt. She's there now. It's it's the same as the uh, the Mack Mentier fight. We've just got two pairs going at it for the podium places. Yeah, lap and a half, and they might catch the back of the pack. These two extra laps might give them enough to catch a couple of back markers and see how that one pans out. It's Potter, sorry, Wyatt, Potter and Mack. And Lizzie Mentia once again all over the back of David Mack. Mack's going to go defensive into hairpin three. Mentia's going to try the line again. Is she going to try and get the cutback? Dives to the inside this time. Decides not to run as round the outside. But David Mack gets so much drive out of that corner and is back into third place. That could go either way. But at the moment, it's Mack sat at the front of the pack. Fantastic action for the podium places, it really is. I mean, there's action up and down this field, but this is the one that we're focusing on. Uh, David Mack doing a brilliant drive. Uh, fantastic defensive drive. He just trying to hold on to that bottom step of the podium, and it really is great to see how hard he's working. So, out onto the back straight for the final time. Charlie Wyatt holding off Catherine Potter at the front. 
with David Mack holding off Lizzie Mentia at fourth, third place. Fox Whiteley up to up to fifth. That's girling then. Oh, Mentia with a good sixth. run through hairpin three. Is she going to have a look up the inside again in hairpin four? Here we go with Charlie Wyatt across the line. It is going to be David Mack that's going to take third place. But Charlie Wyatt from Catherine Potter. David Mack just holding on across the line from Lizzie Mentia. And then Fox Whiteley, Girling, Potter, Barlow, Holden and Barker Dix round out your top ten. With Stansmore, Wilson, McLeod, Finlay Stubbins, Sophie Pawsey, Reese Peniston, Addison Smith, Jack Thompson, Sam Robson, Harris Ali and Josh Cook are your top 20. Yeah, great race there actually. The 37 of Thompson race running a 160 rather than a 200. We, uh, somebody messaged us about that earlier. So fantastic result for Jack. Run it in the 37 in 17th, beating a number of 200 drivers. Good, great r race and result for him. Yeah, absolutely. There, though, is your winner, and he's been supreme all weekend. The number 23 of Charlie Wyatt. We give a round of applause out of the commentary box to our podium places. <coughs> Congratulations to them. David Mack earned that, didn't he, for he, third place? Absolutely. Really did. Fantastic driver, and as I say, he's, he's just worked his way up all weekend. He, I think. Um, Yesterday was in and around the the uh, sort he, of eighth, ninth, tenth. Yeah, he and was then in there, wasn't he? In that sort of second group battle, and uh, has slowly mo worked his way up uh, through the weekend, and, and fully deserving that podium. Yeah, with got that drive. Got onto the podium when it mattered. There for the sixteen of David Mack. Lizzie Mentia with a commendable drive to fourth place. Tried numerous times to get alongside and pass David Mack. But on this occasion, it went the way of David Mack. So Charlie Wyatt on the top step from Catherine Potter. And then David Mack taking the final position on the podium. Three more racers to come. Two two-stroke classes, junior row tax mixed with, with, the, with mini max. And uh, senior, senior row tax before senior pro car. So three more racers. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a few moments with Junior Rotax. <laughs> 